Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. In Chicago's Chinatown, you'll find beautiful murals, delicious food, and falling concrete. Disintegrating railroad bridges are worrying residents there and in nearby neighborhoods. Morning Insider Lauren Victory shares both frustrating and positive updates on the push to fix the city's deteriorating viaducts. This welcome to Chinatown isn't exactly welcoming. Piles of broken concrete and patches of chipping paint escort you from Canal Street at 24th. These viaducts are used very often. Grace Chan McKibben explains their cut throughs between the community's residential and commercial areas. Plenty of car and foot traffic that could get whacked by falling debris. I've worked with the Chinatown community on and off since 2009, and for as long as I've worked here, there have been talk about the conditions of the viaducts. Pretty nice, huh? Nancy Plax is also fighting for safer passage near 16th and Racine. At the time of this CBS Chicago story in June, she'd been hounding Chicago's Department of Transportation. After the first letter and no response, I was like really mad. But persistence paid off. Here's Plax giving CDOT a tour of dilapidated viaducts on Friday. She says that meeting ended with a verbal promise to make some aesthetic improvements. But the fact that it looks so bad, you know, makes us feel unsafe with that. So painting it'll be great for that. But what about giant holes in the wall or rusty beams? Structural problems are the responsibility of the railroads that run over top the viaducts. Unfortunately, sometimes they tell us there's an issue of budget. Alderman Byron Sigichow Lopez hopes those railway companies are financially fueled to act via the infrastructure bill in Washington, D.C. What we need is, of course, federal help. We have the federal dollars now waiting, and we hope that this happens quickly. Urgency because the crumbling canal and racine viaducts are in his ward. What we want to prevent is tragedies. For a victory, CBS 2 News. Union Pacific, BNSF Railway, and Norfolk Southern control various portions of tracks all over the city. We asked each company about falling debris and safety. We put their answers up at cbschicago.com. You can also find those statements in our new app. Look for the section called Morning Insiders.